if I become President of the United States, I will curb the practice we have in this country of giving union bosses an unfair advantage in contracting. One of the first things I will do, actually on day one, is I will end the government's favoritism towards unions in, in contracting on federal projects and end project labor agreements, and I will fight to repeal da Davis-Bacon. I didn't know that was going to get that kind of response, right? <laughs> I'd have said that earlier. I, I also, of course, are going to make sure that, that union or that, excuse me, that workers in America have the right to a secret ballot, and, and I will fight for right to work laws. I, uh, there's, there's, uh, <laughs> now, old school liberals used to take their marching orders from, you know, the, the big organized unions. And, and unions have an important role in our country. People should have the right to join a union if they want to, and that's why we have union elections. But the president doesn't want to play fair on that basis. He wants to do the bidding of these old union CEO bosses. And so uh, one of the first things he did when he signed a stimulus was to say that all of the federal projects have to be done by union labor. All right? And he also, by the way, grants waivers from Obamacare to unions, all right, to his old friends. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, he's fought for something known as card check, which is the idea that the, you take away from the American workers the right they have to a secret ballot. And, and then, of course, uh, by putting his friends on the National Labor Relations Board, they made an unusual decision telling Boeing, they can't, a great American company, they can't build a factory in a great American state like the one not far from here, South Carolina. We, we believe in freedom and letting people choose whether or not to be parts of unions. And if I'm president, I'm going to turn that freedom to this country. And, and just as an aside, by the way, there are a couple things I do with regards to labor policies. Uh, I, I, as a first act, one of the executive orders I will carry out in the first day is one saying that on federal projects, union or non-union can work, not just union. And number two, I'll preserve the secret ballot. And, and, and number three, I'll stand up for right-to-work legislation. I want to make sure that you have the right to have right-to-work in this country. And, and finally, I... Finally, I don't think it's fair for people who are working in a union to have money taken out of their paycheck and have that money, have that money go into a political action committee where they don't get to choose which candidate gets it. Instead, the union boss takes to get, take their money and give it to the person of his or her choice. That's wrong. People ought to have their paycheck protected from that kind of grabbing. I didn't know that was going to get that kind of response, right? <laughs> I'd have said that earlier.